ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to our channel Alpha Production. Today is the final of the African Cup of Nations 2022 here in Australia and Brisbane. We are here in the Ipswich. As you can see, the public is already there. Uh, the final will be between uh, South Sudan and uh, Somalia. So very soon, the, all the teams are ready and we are going to assist to the uh, different national anthems. And after that, we are going to see who will be the winner of this final of AFCON 2022 here in Australia. Remain connected with Alpha Production Australia and you will see the result by yourself. Right, after the national anthems of the those two countries, Somali and uh, South Sudan, now we have the president of the Queensland African Communities Council, Benny Ball, going to greet the players, the players of those two teams. Now we can see the Somali team, and after that it will be the South Sudan team. So it, it, it's a great day today because uh, it's the final the day that people were waiting to see who will be the winner of this uh, African Cup of Nations 2022. The president of QSCC, Benny Ball, greeting the South Sudanese team. And uh, between South Sudan and also the Somali, who will be the winner? We will see in a couple of minutes when the match will start. After greeting the teams, now is the time to keep this memory. The picture with the referees and both teams, Somali team and the South Sudan. And the public is ready. They are waiting the beginning of this game. Remain connected and you will have the result. Now it's the time for to take a picture with the referees, and uh, there we can see the South Sudan, the South Sudan team that having a 
briefing before the game started. The, the captain of the team, and then we have also the Somali. They are taking time, the last briefing before the game starts. So, remain connected and then we will, you will see who will be the winner of this competition. And the referees and the president of the uh, Queensland African Communities Council for the um, briefing about the match. We need a friendly game this afternoon. This is the time now to get ready the referees. They are taking position. After they taking the position now, checking everything that everything is ready. And the public also is ready to watch again. Somali team posting for a souvenir. The team. Uh, South Sudan, some of the players also are taking a, a, a photo. And after that, okay, now the president of uh, QACC Benibol is going to kick the ball for the first time for the game to start. We are now at the final of. Uh,
It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon and we are live from the Ipswich Night Football Club. Today is the grand final of the Queensland African Communities Council African Cup of Nations 2022. With me is the president of the QSCC Queensland African Cup. Communities Council, Mr. Benny Ball. Hello, Mr. Benny Ball. Yeah, thank you, Jimmy. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Very excited, as you can see, the excitement of the young people. This is something we don't experience usually in the African community. You see the large number of young people that have turned up from all different countries here. Okay. So, can you tell us uh, the idea be behind this organization? Well, it's very simple. It's more about who we are as a community, the thing that bring us together, especially the young people. We are the most culturally and linguistically diverse uh, community in the whole of Australia. And there's nothing that brings us together other than this type of event, like the sporting event, the Africa Day Festival. And you can see all the young people are very happy everywhere. And I'm really excited that we are able to bring our young people together and celebrate. And what I normally say is that this is a win for the African community. So it's not just about who is going to win the cup. It's more about people coming together, celebrating ourselves, and also exposing the talent within our young people to the broader community because a lot of people they don't know how talented our young people are so this is an opportunity to demonstrate to them that we have hidden talent in our local communities and we want to show that to the world what are the future plans the future plans to make it bigger and and make sure that we invite mainstream clubs to also come send their representative to come and have a look and actually see the talent that we have in the local community. So we need more resources, we need to involve more decision makers, we need to involve uh, bigger institutions to come and watch, watch the game and see the talent that we've got. Because if you look at the young people who are playing here, they could play for Australia. And if the major clubs come and borrow, observe and borrow some of these players, Australia would be one of the best performing uh, countries in the world when it comes to the soccer. It has been for the last three weeks now, the event has been going on, so what do you think went wrong or good? Well, like any other event or organization of any initiatives, there are always areas for improvement. So there have been some issues, complaints here and there, but we will sit down and evaluate and look at where we need to improve. Potentially, we might need to look for the better and uh, facility in the future, and also the, the, the management of the crowd, uh, working closely with the law enforcement agencies and having more volunteers from the local communities to come and look at different aspects of the event. But all in all, it's been very peaceful. We have been seeing thousands, thousands of the community, members of the community attending this event. What is the secret pulling them to Ipswich? Well, the plan is to make sure that we do it at different local government areas. So in the past two years, we've uh, held it in Logan, in Brisbane, and this is the first time we are hosting it here in Ipswich and the mayor of Ipswich City Council will be coming today because she's very happy and she actually promoted this event on the ABC radio a couple of weeks ago. So we want to rotate it to make sure that it also suits the needs of our community in different local government areas. So potentially next year we could have it in uh, Brisbane North or Brisbane uh, South. So depending on where we will be able to find the facility to host us. So Mr. President, what is your last word? The last word is that this is so important. We need to do better than this as well. And we want to make sure that all of our young people, from wherever they are, they need to get involved. Because at the end, we have been known for bad things. And we need to show to the broader community that there's other side of us. We've got a lot of great things that we can uh, contribute to the Australian community. And we want our young people to take leadership, step up, contribute, take time, get involved. Because Great things like this don't just happen. So they happen because there are some people who sacrifice their time and they come and volunteer. We need more volunteers. We need community-oriented people. People like you, Jimmy, and many other people who have been involved in the community for a very long time. Because without you, without other volunteers, we wouldn't be able to host something very important like this. Thank you so much, Mr. President, for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. We have just talked to the president of the Queensland African Communities Council, Mr. Benny Ball. As uh, you can see behind me, the game is still going on and we are waiting for the last whistle. 
that will be blown by the central referee, Mr. Awok, who is seconded by Boutrous and Chris as assistant referees. Ladies and gentlemen, please watch the grand final between South Sudan and Somalia. Okay, 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 finally we are at the end of this uh, game. South Sudan is the winner of this African Cup of Nations 2022 here in, uh, in Australia. We hope that uh, everything will be great and uh, very soon we are going to have the mayor or the Lord Mayor of uh, the city so to say a few words about this team, about this uh, game in here in Egypt in Australia. Thank you very much. Viewers in front of me, in front of the camera is uh, the mayor of Ipswich, Mayor Theresa. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, very well, Jimmy. You can hear all the music and the chanting. It's a great day. Um, congratulations to Sudan for winning. Queensland African Communities Council is honoured for your presence here. Oh. You have been watching the game for some time, and how? What were your expectations? Well, this has been the, the third weekend you've been out here in Ipswich. So I came along the first weekend, and I saw you know, Rwanda play, Somali play, and, and the Congo play. So it's been great to have a, such a family-friendly event here in Ipswich. And congratulations to Sudan. They played a tremendous game. And uh, you can hear everyone's really excited. We saw uh, the youth and the other the people from different communities yes. that gathered to today, I think for the last three weeks. What is your message to the, those who did not come? I think you missed a lot of fun. There was some great food being cooked here all over the place, uh, music going, people dancing, people singing, people hugging. They hadn't seen each other for a while. So I, I think next year, wherever it's going, hopefully it's back in Ipswich, I'll encourage you to come along. It's been a great three weekends. For the African community, yes. what can you tell them it's special in Ipswich so that yeah. they can benefit in terms of sports, yeah. development or anything? Yeah. Like? Um, Ipswich is very proudly a very sports mad city. So I'd say, uh, and we're also a very multicultural city, so I say to everyone who participated in AFCON, but the African community, that you're welcome here. And we've really loved you having AFCON here the last three weeks. Thank you so much. And I hope you're back again next year. Your last word? Uh, I hope everyone who played feels as though they won. Uh, I know the, the Somalia played so well. They played with a lot of heart today. But I hope all the teams feel like they've um, played their best and have a great time tonight. We are honoured to have you here. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, Jimmy.
for the past three months. Thank you so much and thank you to all the players and thank you to the club as well for taking the time and hosting us in Ipswich. I would just call you may have put the time to come. I was listening to you promoting it on ABC Radio two weeks ago. Thank you for that and congratulations to all of you, every single team that participated in this event. Thank you. Every people we met goes to Joyce LA. Now we are going to
I'm gonna 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are, uh, we are at the end of this uh, big, big, big uh, African event here in uh, Brisbane, the end of the uh, AFCON 2022. So we have here just the uh, CEO of uh, everything. Her name is uh, Rose Carlo. So Rose, um, how do you feel today after this? Oh my god you can see oh my god i'm so happy super super happy we won <laughs> okay so you are among the uh the winner how did you feel during the, the competition it was so good we were dominating from the beginning no i'm really very proud of our boys and also i'm proud of you know everyone that has been involved in this african cup of nation at queensland african community council it's fantastic. We were not just supporting, you know, our own country. We were supporting everyone, just the winner. And even if you did not win, the other guys, you are all winners in our hearts. Keep up the good work. Yeah, uh, one word for the all the African people back home, because they, they, they don't know that we have this great event here in Brisbane, in Australia. Can you say something to them that we are African abroad, uh, uh, in the foreign countries, but we keep our traditions, we keep our culture, we keep our youth to be strong. That's why this event is uh, making advocate, uh, showcase the, uh, the situation. Can you say something about it? Yes, guys, if you don't know, this is our African Cup or World Cup. World Football Cup here in Brisbane, Australia. Like they say, the game brings everyone. We know what football is in Africa, and we want to promote that and, and bring that here to Australia because their football is different from ours. But it's so amazing to see how, you know, as Africans, we have very diverse communities and cultures and generations, but we are all coming together, you know, in one field, just, you know, to support each other and cheer and be part of, you know, the amazing initiative that we have in the community. And I hope that, like, for people here yeah, back, back home in Africa or here in Australia, let us keep our culture because it's one way for us, you know, to be able to thrive here. Yeah? And Australia promotes multiculturalism. So it's very, very important. We share that with, with our young generations and also our friends and everybody, our generosity, our talents, our uniqueness and everything that is fantastic and amazing that people don't know about us. Right. So uh, the final result of this competition is that uh, South Sudan won win the, uh, the competition and also the South Sudan girls team. What they, what they, 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 they won? OK. So, guys, you can see this is our South Sudan flag. I'm representing South Sudan here in Australia, guys, mm -hmm. and in the field and everywhere. And uh, we won, guys, our boys. <laughs> brought the cup home and our girls I think didn't win but it's our other sisters in Sudan which is the other we call it North Sudan that I mm. became um, the second today mm. and congratulations to Congolese girls mm -hmm. <laughs> what, 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 they, they, what they want can you talk a little, can you talk a little bit about the uh, Congolese uh, girls how did you find their uh, performance in uh, in the field Oh my God, like watching the girls, I want to be Congolese now. <laughs> they are so good guys. And this is an opportunity. I hope that, you know, mainstream Australia could watch this and hopefully we'll invest more in this. But talking about the teams, I think we had like 22 teams or 24 teams and three of them were like girls team and the other 18 boys team. So yeah, it was a very high competition, very competitive guys, and it was very professional and very presentable. And we are very, very proud about all the players, players, the referees, the organizers, and even the audience. Man, I couldn't believe I saw many flags. You can see one our uncle is wearing. <laughs> That's Congo, that's yeah. Congo, yeah. You can see this earring in South Sudan, so, so many flags here, guys. So, mm. Thank you so much, and we hope this to continue. 
and um, yeah, thank you Alpha also for always representing us the best way that the world could see yeah. and understand because we are always misrepresented mm. by some people you guys know who they are <laughs> exactly yeah. yeah thank you very much for your time we hope to see you again for the next event so we are at the end of uh, this year 2022 yeah. any activity that will happen or this is the last one there are more activities happening. I'm um, starting women's well-being activities, guys, here in Ipswich and also in North Brisbane. And also, I just want to appeal and, you know, us respectfully, like all our community members, their parents, women, men, that, you know, this event has started last year and this year has become bigger. And next year, we hope it to be the best. We want to see like our food, lots of food here. We want to see lots of businesses here. We want to see lots of people. Let us invest in ourselves. Let us expect everyone. So hopefully next year we'll see so many moms, so many kids, and hope we will build our own playground that will take us all. Because this is even if all of us come here, it will not be enough. So thank you, thank you so much. And thank you everybody. Thank you very much and uh, hope to see you again for the next event. Thank you, boss.